worldwide YouTube welcome back and today in this video we'll be doing a message logging and kind of a message tracing in the WCF alright so in this video generally what we'll do is we'll see uh, what is the message exactly flows over the wire when what happens when you do the encryption and what happens when you remove the security alright so I have uh, one simple example I have a service library which is pretty simple if you look at it I got a simple operation contract uh, I get string I give string back that's it that's all I do and if you look at my service whatever value give me I mean the client gives me I return back right so that's my service nothing spectacular or nothing I mean very magical alright so now when we come here this is the default structure gets added by the WCF uh, when we create a service or anything like that right so I'll hide the service section alright so <coughs> in here you can see I'm using the basic HTTP binding and, and that's it nothing spectacular I got my base address I got my service library and that's it I mean I got my ABC now in order to do the message logging you need to add a section after the service or I mean within a service model you can do it called as diagnostic and you want to say you are doing a message logging and you will be uh, logging the entire message logging a malform message I mean you'll be <coughs> Uh, I mean, come on, covering the whole complete message. Then, where do you want to uh, log the message at transfer level? I mean, you can figure out all these. You know, uh, configure according to your needs. But this thing needs to be there. All right. So this is a part. And there's one more thing. Uh, after service view, <coughs> there's a thing called a system dot diagnostic, which should be present. Okay it should be present under configuration tag in this uh, system.diagnostic you got sources in which you can add your multiple source and I'm saying here that I want to do the message logging here and I got a switch value which tells me what exactly I want to do I can do information I can do activity tracing I can do all all contains everything but generally it depends um, I, I mean it's up to you that what are the things you want to log because when you log in the production environment or the development environment the size of the log varies and it takes a lot of space so it, it's, it's a choice on you but as for the need I just want to see the information on activity tracing alright you can track down errors as well then you gotta add listeners and then you gotta apply a name to your listener that would be all then you add a shared listener inside of which you tell where exactly you want to log your messages so I on my C drive I got Archer as a folder alright and then you need to specify what type of writer you'll be using what will be the version what will public token key name and everything blah blah the name comes from here the listener which you have added one second let me show you let me break it down okay so now you can see it this is a name whatever I'm applying it comes here and trees output option as a timestamp right so once you have this thing in place you will be able to generate a log right so I'll give you an example right now as you can see I have done nothing in my you know the service I have done all the settings in the configuration only two things to remember you have to put down system dot diagnostic and you have to do put down the diagnostics in the service model alright <coughs> anyways I'll tell you the magic part in the end but right now you gotta focus on these two things right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the client right so I'll come here I'll say set as a start project and I'll say run it so as soon as I run I get high from the tracing. I'm sorry I showed forgot to show you what was there in the client code. In the client code I consumed the proxy, then I got some configuration and thing was pretty simple. What I did is like I first initialize the proxy, then I said client dot do work, high from tracing, job done and after executing this 
I got my log in my respective folder so let me get down to the archer as you can see the archer is there and I got my logs and the thing I, I was passing over the wire is high from the tracing and I got the same thing back so let's check the logs right once you double click it Microsoft has an inbuilt tool called as I mean one second let me get that tool the tool is called as SVC trace viewer dot exe tool right but it is an amazing tool and it does uh, gives you a lot of information so as you can see this is what I sent over the wire and this is what I got back alright then the interesting thing to notice here is let me get this thing up one second I hope you guys can see it oh, come on right so we are looking at the do work and we'll be choosing a message so as soon as I choose the message I can see how my message got flown over the wire and I can clearly see this is the message this was a method and this was a value I have passed over the wire alright and the same same thing goes as a response that I got back from the service right now let's change it now let's shut it down I'm gonna shut this guy down I'm gonna close it <coughs> close it and I'll get back to .NET I'll do some changes in my service as usual nothing spectacular alright so I'll go to service behavior not there I'll go to yes <coughs> instead of this basic HTTP binding I'll simply convert this guy to WS HTTP binding as we all know once you have the WS HTTP binding in place we automatically get the message security by default so whatever our messages are flown over the wire are secured by default right but you want to see the proof because you guys don't believe me right so in client I gotta update the proxy and let me check if service is running yeah service is working fine so the proxy is updated now let's run one more time I hope I'll get the correct output without a problem and it worked pretty fine right now let's go back and check the logs so where's the archer C drive and I don't see archer I saw it now if you check initially the log size was 3 kb as soon as I applied the WSHT mining the log size became heavy now double click on it and let's open and if you see one second uh, as you can see these guys were the previous logs we captured right and now these are the new logs came into the picture right and if you check the flow for like full form of RST and <coughs> anything you can figure out one second one second so you know like request security token context security context so you can view all the messages down here on the right hand side okay but we are not interested in that we are interested in what message went over the wire when we call this method initially and when we change the binding so as soon as we change the binding now you'll see the magic and power of tracing you see a lot of things came here into the service and but the important thing to notice is this is our data which is heavily encrypted I have no fucking idea what is that thing but it is very much encrypted and same is kind of a response I got back from the service so you see I mean how powerful is the binding and how the tracing helps you to like you know figure out the things what you need to know so I hope you understood the idea okay okay I need to cover one more thing so what you can do is like you know I'll do one thing I'll quickly mm, now I'm getting bored so what I'll do is there's a tool called as right click and then you can say edit WCF configuration and now whatever configuration I have done here I can see very well as I told you I got diagnostic right so as you can see whatever things I have you can create from here if you want or you can do it by your hand right so in diagnostic you can see the message logging part if you remember these five parameters I'll show you 
One second. Sorry. <clears throat> These are the five parameters which are there. I mean, I haven't changed them. They are kept as default. Then we got sources which we added, if you remember. Then we added a listener. This was a listener we added. Okay, we specified this is the place we are supposed to log. This is the timestamp, and this is a name of a listener, which is pretty much over here, right? And so that was a that. I mean, you can do it from here itself. Simply by clicking here and there, you can set up the whole thing, all right? This was the message logging. You can also enable the tracing. Once you enable the tra tracing, I'll show you again. I have time. If you enable the tracing, it will change the configuration. Let's close it. Yes. So, as you can see, the things got changed. We have enabled the tracing as well. Now, when you enable the tracing, you can go into the event viewer and you can check out the few things. Like, um, I'll go right now. One second. Event viewer. Damn it. How do I go there? Control. Administrative tools and event viewer. So you have my event viewer. You can see a lot of things down here. Right. Come on. My mouse sucks. Pause. Alright. <coughs> so I hope you can see the event viewer on the Windows log. Come on, get it big. So, as you can see, the event viewer does a lot of things by default. Message logging has been turned on. Sensitive information may be logged, blah, 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 right? W whatever they are doing, right? But now let's see the power of tracing, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run simply and let's see what happens. It's going to, I mean, like the it will gonna trace the thing called as like you have authenticated and all blah 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 so let's see the event viewer and if you see the event viewer and if you refresh how can I refresh uh, refresh application and nothing come on there has to be something security um, an account was no 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 there is some place you know you can see message logging but apart from that you can see come on come on come on mm, I don't know one second mm, okay I'm sorry I mean I have added yes I think my logs are done at some other place project tracing WCF lib and I got a different file I'm sorry so I'll just open that up and where is that file tracing WCF lib and instead of which I should have a file yes so as you can see I have a log let's see that log you can see a lot of things come on come on open up messages project and all the things you can see like um, a request session token like negotiation uh, I mean a lot of things you can figure out I mean I don't have much idea about it but you can see by yourself right so you can do the tracing and everything you want alright so anyways but I think it does I mean perform the tracing in the system itself but why am I you know this guy is not showing up system information uh, no 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 system set up security as down on as fine man let's refresh and give me some more messaging now I think I'm missing something but anyways you got the idea and I'm running out of the time I hope you like the video if you like the video um, please subscribe thank you for watching